Hello again, I'm Dr. Richard Boulanger, a professor of electronic production and design at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. I'm here showing you Roland's new SBX1 sync box. Oh, I'm just having fun with it, actually. A real blast with it. And now, what I thought I would do is connect one of their awesome new synths, the TB3. Uh, touch bass line synth. Fantastic sounding instrument, but I'm not going to listen to it. I'm just going to take MIDI out, and I'm going to patch the MIDI into the uh, SBX1 again, so that I can use this incredible controller uh, to trigger it's a little sequencer, right? It's a bass sequencer and has all kinds of um, control capabilities as well. But these controls are sending MIDI messages and we're now using the SBX1 to convert those MIDI messages into CVs and gates to control, well, some more modules on my Eurorack modular synthesizer. I'm going to feature a module in this example that was designed by a couple of my Berkeley students. It's called the Nebula by Qubit, that's the company. And what it has is C sound, which is kind of a specialty of mine, inside the module, running on a Raspberry Pi. And so the whole C sound language is running, and this is a kind of sampler and granular synth. It, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the TB3. Well, first of all, I'm gonna send a control voltage to trigger it, to gate it, if you will, to fire the sample. So, boom, let's patch in a, a, a gate into the recall button of the Qubit Nebula. And then I'd also like to be able to sort of control the pitch of the sample playback. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, take the CV out and um, sort of trigger the samples. Let's see what we have here. Wait. The nice thing about the SBX1 as regards CB and gate voltages is the SBX1 lets you set the range. Oh, I like that a lot better. Right now we're sending out sort of medium range control voltage transposed into the middle register and so Mm, I'm liking the kind of low, ominous quality of this violin sample. But wait, this is a sequencer. Why don't I turn it on and let it trigger and cut? Now, let me tell you, the TB3 doesn't sound like this when you plug the audio in. But it can when you connect it through the SBX1. Now, to add to this though, let's take that same sequence and instead do something that most bass sequencers do. Let's control an oscillator. So I'm taking another patch cord right here into the Make Noise STO, which is a beautiful fat analog oscillator. And so I patched it in here and we'll bring it up one form of the oscillator here. The TB3 all of a sudden becomes a really incredible sequencer with all kinds of permutation and real-time editing capabilities and control capabilities through the SBX1 to allow me to really do some very interesting bass and beyond sequencing. Let's bring in the effects. Nice way to end, I think.